Alright guys, this is the official first video of the John Wick lock project. Uh, realistically, I should have had the video when I built that, but I made a mistake. If you watched the High Kappa series, you'll know what I'm talking about. I think I showed it off in the first video. And uh, this is all possible uh, possible to the guy who bought both of them, so you guys uh, got to give him big thanks. It's not too often that I get to show off um, full builds, because full builds are very expensive, okay? And uh, following, continuing from the high cap one, oh, I forgot to mention, if, if there's any cuts or anything I have to get up, it's I'm having health issues, back issues, so that's that will explain the cuts. But let's get started. This is going to be kind of a, just a show and tell and where I want this project to, to go or, you know, work with. So if anything, it's a video for you guys and a video for him as well. And, you know, I think these, I think everyone has enjoyed them so far. I've enjoyed doing them. They're theoretic for me. Okay, continuing from the last high cap video, uh, I, should, I should probably just bring it over here. This is where we're continuing from, okay? Uh, I talked to him, he, he saw the video, we both agree, okay? This case is, it's a nice case, but it's just too small. And with almost all the Glock parts, are in. I, I thought I had everything, but there's three parts I'm missing. I just sent an order uh, two days ago, so I, I'm assuming it'll be here by next week. Okay, so with that being said, we need a bigger case. I started Googling, and I found this website called MyCaseBuilder.com. It looks really, it looks really cool. Uh, and the good thing is, one of you guys, I forget the, who sent the, the, the picture to me, uh, one of you guys that actually watched um, the other series uh, happened to send the same link and he sent a video of his case that they uh, did from. Uh, I think just based on how custom his pistol was, I have a feeling he did the picture, um, the picture foam thing. Because you, if you look at the website, it's really cool. It's a, it's a cool website. I'm glad that he, you know, told me that he did it. Because, you know, it kind of gives me some relief that, hey, someone on my YouTube channel actually used this website. Because, you know, you wonder about some websites sometimes. So, the only thing is I want to make sure is, is if, you know, he's okay with it. Because, you know, when I was looking at the price, I was like, okay, these are, you know, that Pelican case was 50 bucks is tiny. The bigger you get, you know, we need to kind of fit two pistols and some other stuff, you know, yeah, it's a pretty quick, so I'll probably talk to him, figure it out, tell him to watch this video, see what he thinks. But uh, just from looking at mycasebuilder.com, and I think if, if he actually goes with it, we basically I see two routes. Okay, the two routes I see is we're going to do my case builder, where it'll be like really custom, it'll look really nice, definitely more expensive. Or we'll be able just to buy like, you know, a Pelican case that's just bigger, and this is just a plug and foam, and then plastic dip. Either one, I think, is safe. It's good, good, but uh, it's just this is what I came up with for it's just concept. Obviously, I didn't take the you know these were just scribblings. Okay, because I'm trying to think about how to. Okay, can you guys see that? Basically, I want the two pistols facing each other. Okay, you guys can see right here. I have a friend. Okay, because I'm starting to have a little more fun, but you know I gotta make sure he's okay with that. I don't want to just throw all this stuff in. Um, we have the coins already here, so these are the coins. <laughs> what I what I, I did is I actually bought some um, number two pistols, uh, not these ones, but I bought like you know the the you know the nice you know pencils, the number two ones, the official ones that everyone knows from school here in America. And um, I've been looking up how to make uh, dried blood. If you guys are familiar, there's a scene, and, and then and like it's a uh, is it. It's, it's when the dad learns about what his son did, and he talks about how John Wick killed everybody with a pencil. No, I can't, I can't remember if he, that was the mission he was he was supposed to do the mission, but they thought he was going to die, but he did it and made them. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm wasting your time. But anyways, there's a pencil. So I looked up like how to do um, dried blood. So I want to include a pencil now, because I think it'll be fun and you know kind of cool to go with the coins, because those are... Two things I think everyone you know remembers from John Wick besides the guns, coins, and the the pencil. I probably said the more hardcore ones remember the um, the thumbprint. You know when you owe someone a favor for the uh, the trade off. But I was looking at a couple of those, and some of those were kind of expensive. But coin, pencil, very cool. And then my friend, he's got um, he does like uh, 
custom wood CNC stuff. So I figured maybe why not make like a custom John Wick logo and put it in the center here. And then we have all the mags down here. Another way is just, you know, to have the two pistols here. And then like, you know, maybe like the mags here and then like the pencil, coin, logo, something like that. So there's a lot of ways we can do this, but like when I was looking at this website, I was like, you know, this is fun. Like, you know, I, I might, I'm, I'm probably going to make a case for myself too, considering how fun that website is. And if he goes with this, I think what we're going to do is we're going to show the process of how it works. Because one cool thing they had is like, um, either A, you can, you can draw it out on their like web app, or you can take a picture of it. And if you like, you need to take a professional picture like this against a white background, then then crop it out. Uh, you know, like using Photoshop. So you do have to put in some work, or you need to have some skill sets to do that. That option, I think, is what the uh, I probably should ask him, or if he's watching, he'll probably maybe he'll comment. I don't know if he's a commenter, but he, he reached out to me on Facebook. But it looks like he did the photograph one because his was like a perfect cut to his pistol, and it wasn't like a simple pistol. I'm, I think he had like a nine ball, seven inch frame, like a, a mount on it, and like I think he had the nine ball grip. I couldn't, I can't remember. You know, a lot of people messed with me, so uh, you know, I'm just that's the basic. But anyways, it wasn't your basic pistol, so that's what I think he did. And you know, I think it would be a cool, cool little fun thing to do. If not, no worries. What we're gonna do is just we're gonna do the plug and foam, and then we're gonna do the uh, the plastic dip. Uh, one of the, I think another guy, he posted a video on this, so we're going to do that so it doesn't crumble, okay? All right, enough talking here. Let's show you the parts we have, okay? Loading nozzles. These are a must. I like the gutter loading nozzles. I mean, the uh, guns modify ones. I'm not a big fan of aluminum loading nozzles. I will not put that in here. Um, if, if you ever ask me to recommend it, I'm going to deny him, <laughs> but he's been, he's very, he's very easy to work with, uh, very respectful and he's been very patient. So I'm very, very thankful to work with him. So thank you once again. And, but yeah, so we're, we're using plastic. I don't want any aluminum in this. Uh, you know, this is built for a skirmisher by a skirmisher. Okay. This gun is built to play with, and that applies to my high cap as well. Okay. So we got the loading nozzle. I like these. I don't think I ever did an official review on them. I installed them on a lot of my Glocks uh, and customer Glocks. Not on high cap so much. Uh, I feel like high cap is okay, but it, to me it benefits mostly on a Glock because how the, the, the Glock outer barrel and the inner barrel pop-up unit system works. Okay, so maybe I'll, I'll try to explain that since I don't think I did an official review on it. I'll try to explain to it when we get to that phase. So some of these things I'll explain. Okay, this is just a wheel. Okay, uh, this is the bread and butter. This is where I love. It's my favorite part. Um, I have this on my uh, full gun modified lower, and it's is it's to me is an amazing feeling. It's a difference. It's a difference between any other uh, Glock out there. Okay, so we got a steel front and steel rear. All right, we got nine ball gaskets. Uh, it's you know they only come in two packs. I I've never seen a four pack. I could be wrong, but I just Finding a four pack of the Glock ones are kind of annoying. All right, we got the, remember this is 112.5. Uh, remember this is a 34, so you can sneak in a five inch in there, guys. So don't forget that. One thing that's really funny is um, whenever I get 34 sent to me, I get a lot of 34 sent to me. <laughs> and they're always using the Glock 17 inner barrel, 97. You know, you guys can sneak in a five inch. So upgrade those inner barrels if you guys got them. This one I'm not super sure on yet. I've been playing around with it for a while before I got injured. Uh, I don't think I did an official review on it, but I think I'm probably going to swap this out and put it in the Monster League because that one is, is, I love it, I know it, I'm comfortable with it. Okay. What else do we have? We got the tag on the bottom. Okay. I hate, I hate this, this part. This is probably the most common part I will disable. Uh, I don't like uh, grip safeties on high campus. I don't like them. They're just annoying for skirmishing. You know, I, when I want to shoot, I want to shoot. It's the same thing with here. I, I hate this design. Either A, if you're not going to get the gun tag, literally just shim it, guys. You can either shim it so it doesn't move at all or put a piece uh, of plastic here. You know, it's a really simple mod to get rid of this because you can be running, shooting, shooting. If it gets a little loose, it's going to lock and you're going to try to go to pull and it's not going to release. 
So that's, and people will, I've actually had people send me um, Tokimori Glocks thinking it was broken and it was just this. That was literally, it was just on and they couldn't release it. They, they actually thought the gun was broken. You know, I always try to help everyone before you send it to me. And uh, sometimes it just, you know, escapes people. Okay, moving on. What else do we have? We have the extended slide release, uh, slide stop. This is the correct one. Uh, you can't tell from here. You guys can tell from here. These are all the pictures I've been taking off right here. You guys can tell by the, the shimmer and then how long it is. So that's, that's in there. We got the extended slide stop, okay. That one I don't know if it's, that would be so hard to prove. I would have to see the gun in person, literally. Okay, we have the, the this is the 7mm rotor, I'm pretty sure, okay. I, I like this rotor. Okay, and then we have 125 steel guide rod. I got a stronger version because, you know, this is usually for Glock 17s. You guys have to remember Glock 34 is obviously bigger than 17, so I wanted just a little bit more strength. Oh, yeah, this is the steel hop-up unit. Okay, this thing is a tank. I still have mine, and it's a, it's a tank, all right? That's all I need to say, it's a tank. Uh, we have the, this is the version 5. What's missing is, the, I, I would probably say that's the only thing that's really annoying from this set. And I, I love it, and honestly, it's a good deal. Uh, the only thing that's annoying is, I, I wouldn't even mind paying more. I wish this was, it came with the full hammer set. It comes with... Um, actually, we'll just, we'll discuss that when we get to it. Okay, so, you know, this video is not meant to be that long. Okay, this is the extra parts. We got a steel trigger bar. This is a must. Anytime you guys upgrade Glocks, especially Tokimori, even other companies, if they have weak trigger bars, upgrade them, right? Get, get steel, gutter, spine, and guns modified. Those are the two companies I will buy. But this one I went with Guns Modified because, you know, I like it. It's nice and it looks cool. <laughs> All right. This one was the hardest one for me, okay? Because after looking at multiple pictures, it looks like it's a standard trigger. But I'm going to put this in because I'm thinking as a skirmisher. And I want him to have the ability to adjust the trigger to how he likes. So that's the one thing I'm probably... There's a couple of things I, I, step, I step to the side and I'm thinking as a skirmisher, not as... One to one, and if we're being honest, you guys saw from the first Glock, the uh, first high cap video, this isn't even the right color, but at least it's different and it stands out. Because you know, everybody else will have the black one, you know, they all kind of look the same, but this guy is going to stand out, so that's what I liked about it. And last, we have the grip. Okay, this one I got is a pre cut one by Guns Modify. If you're familiar with Guns Modify grips, he came out with a lot of versions. He came out with like some with multiple cuts. Um, I have the skills to cut and stipple, but with my back, I was trying to think what's something that I can do that make it you know easier for me. So that's why I bought this. And as of right now, it's not a bad job, honestly. But I also did buy. A standard one as well just in case I don't like how this turned out so that one I'll just build a second one okay so I got my I got my backup but yeah trying to figure out how to, to do uh, stipple and cutting is really hard because first of all stippling takes a long time it takes practice you know it's not like something you can just pick up and do you know there's you some people will be able to do it but I'm not gonna lie you, you know most of it looks like straight ass okay <laughs> <laughs> so everyone can do it, but not everyone can make it look good. That's uh, the difference, okay? And I'd probably say the cuts is definitely harder for a novice. A novice can pick up a stippling iron and, you know, just stipple it. But understanding where to shave and get those cuts, uh, get those scallop cuts, that is something that takes skills and it takes tools, okay? Uh, with that being said, I'm going to do it on this one first. I even went, I even bought this kit, okay? This is... I've never bought um, soldering uh, like a like a stipple kit because I, I have my own kits you know I I I made mine a couple years ago but this one I found online uh, looked pretty good and it was it was quite expensive but I thought you know we're going uh, balls to the wall 
I should go to Balls of Wall and try out a new kit. So I'm going to try this on like some random uh, lowers I have to see how it turns out. And if it turns out nice, we're going to be going with this. But check this out. This is a it's a pretty nice kit. I think it was like 50 bucks. I'd have to figure out where I bought it. Can I, I kind of forgot the name. But check it out. It's got a, a circle. It's very aggressive. It's square. And then we got edge. So this is going to be good for edges. And then this one is just a solo. You know, just literally one point. So I'm, I'm hoping this turns out good. But how sharp this looks, I think it will. Okay. Um, wow, well, okay. I've been able to sit 15 minutes. That's good for me. I think we're going to cut it off there. But that's just this is just an introduction to where we're at right now. The parts are going to come next week. So I'm going to start preparing this. I'm going to see what he wants to do about the case. If he's cool with this case, uh, the website, I'm going to need to find, you know, the right size. So I have to lay out. I'm going to lay out everything. i got to make sure how many mags that he want because they cut everything for you. So it would be, you know, it kind of be foolish for us not to um, cut out everything as we can, much as possible. Okay, because we wouldn't want to add anything later. This is like a, a case where you kind of get it one and done. You don't touch it afterwards. And if we do that, I'll document that process because I think that will be really fun. That one is probably going to have to be filmed on the computer, I think. I think I've done some computer uh, computer videos. So that would have to be on the computer. And if we don't do that, what we do is I'm going to get a bigger Pelican case. And we'll do the Pelican foam just like we did last time, okay? I think that's it for now. Um, thanks to everyone. You guys have been uh, very supportive. I appreciate it. People keep on asking me. The full auto blowback units are still for sale. Okay. Um, that gets shipped out every Monday, Wednesday, Friday. I have a lot of these. Okay. So you guys are helping me. And um, I'm, I'm officially kind of accepting projects now. So I'm doing a little better, but I've gotten creative on how I try to work on guns. Like... I'll lay down, work on the couch, on the guns, and you know, so I'm getting creative in how to work stuff because you know, it's just, to be honest, I've gotten uh, just, you know, unhappy with you know with my current situation. So I try to do things to make me feel better, and this is something I enjoy doing on the side. Okay, take it easy, guys. Thank you. See you around.